The hitbox for the floor there, you can break it with hammer, or in that case, hammer crouch stab with sword. But the hitbox for the floor is super duper tiny. You don't normally notice it because normally you blow it up with a bomb and the bomb hitbox is huge. And as long as they overlap at some point, then it blows up. But then trying to break with the hammer, you have to hit like a super tiny point. Oh my god, Kalsani is on and it's MQ Jabu. Well, okay, actually, I looked into this a while ago. There's actually only one cow in Jabu that's actually randomized. Even though there's a few different cows you actually can get uh, items from. So actually there's only one cow in MQ Jabu that I need. I, I looked it in, into it myself a while ago because I wanted to see like how many were actually randomized and I was disappointed. Vanilla. Nice. Hundo practice. Oh no. Okay. Timing it with the D-pad is really awkward. I could do 2-3-1 skip from the first room, but I will do the scrubs for, for the fans. No crash. No crash. Alright, check this out. So as a reminder, I do not have text randomizer on. This is real text, real vanilla text. I don't know which one's which. No. Both of those scrubs that are not the main one actually have those texts. That text, by the way. Not just that one. Why does it happen? I guess it just doesn't assign like a text box ID to it, so it just gives it like the default text ID, which I guess is that one. I beat Ganon. Hard final boss. Fires. Okay, now I'm making progress. After a very rough beginning, this is starting to look decent. Still lacking boss keys, but I at least have Spirit Temple boss key, which, uh, unless in the rare event of Spirit Temple being Kukiri Emerald, that's at least one more medallion. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do MM random for Animal Crossing. I'd have to do it tomorrow, and I don't feel like doing another rando after after this. Like, I don't want to do another rando tomorrow right after. Dude, I can't get on the chest. I do want to do MM rando again sometime soon, but I've been saying that forever at this point. I swear I'll do it eventually. Oh, dude, I just remembered. I I passed by the tent as child and I forgot to go in. And it's child shooting gallery, so I can't even go in as adult. So I have to come back as child again. Oh yeah, I have hammer equipped. I'm just so used to skipping hammer stuff. Oh, I already got... Nice. I am running out of magic. Don't miss. Dude! Slanted torch fire rose is so stupid. Or shooting slanted torches to light them is so stupid. Because, like, their hitbox doesn't match their direction they're pointing. So, shooting them is really dumb. I have green potion. I used to have green potion. I remember there's some switch I need to hit at the bottom of this room somewhere, and I forgot. Oh, I know where it is. Okay. I need to clip. I know where to go. Down there. No! This is not the room. Am I stuck? Oh my god. Did I really just... I think I can exit the top door. No, I can't. Wow. That was definitely a gay baby jail. I wish it was nighttime. <laughs> wish I had Sun Song. This is like the third time I've gotten this grotto because I forgot what it is. Yeah. 
Right, the Sunsong Garden. Okay. I need to come back there when I do have Sunsong so that I can get Song of Storms. Song of Storms is in there. Okay, here. Well, this isn't, um, or oh, yeah. I just realized I never found the, uh, the normal entrance for that. The, uh, Lots of Pots area for Big Po. A nice color. Yeah, this started out really bad. Seed so started out really bad, but it's been going well. After, after like the three hour mark, it started finally going decent. But it all depends on, it pretty much all depends on how fast I find boss keys. Why am I pushing blocks? I have hover boots. And, uh, it gets good after three hours, yeah. A nutty forest. Yeah, quite a few nuts. More nuts? Uh, Swoop is bird. There's still the question of like the boss keys. Obviously the boss keys I could do boss key skips except for Ganon's castle boss key, so... I guess really as long as Ganon's castle boss key is reachable, then I don't think there's any other uh, roadblocks. But it's entirely possible that like Sunsong is in a Song of Storms grotto and Song of Storms is necessary for Ganon boss key or something, and then it actually isn't possible. Pretty sure there was not another key or another chest in- or actually wait, no there is. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Already- I've gotten two checks and they're both fire temple keys. I'm actually shocked how few hearts I have. Like usually five hours into a rando, you're at like 18, 18 hearts. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do fire temple next. Well, I don't even know what fire temple is actually. One of the few dungeons I haven't found yet. Well, I got a hint earlier that said Light Arrows is here, so that's just expected. Three Fire Temple Keys in Ganon's Castle. Cool. No. Oh, no. No. Nice. See, I didn't die. You all thought I was gonna die. Nice. Not much. Yeah, sorry. It's it's harder for me to read chat during randos just because when I'm like doing speed runs, I kind of know exactly when to look at chat. And that's not so much the case with Rando, so like, there's a lot of times where I'm not reading chat, like, not because I in I'm intentionally not reading chat, but just because, like, I'm playing the game and I don't remember when I don't need to look at the game or, like, when I have downtime because I'm, like, going on the fly. Yeah, it, it was just a very complicated way of saying I hate you guys. I just got silver gauntlets, and I did silver gauntlet skip. The double. Oh, no triple. Are you serious? Double followed by impossible shot. Oh man, a gold skull solo token. I did not check the mirror shield chest. And I'm going to assume it was nothing good. What? I don't have Gerudo card, do I? Why aren't they catching me? Okay. That was weird. Are they in different places in Rando? There we go. Okay. And it's daytime, which means I can't get that one skull solo. Whatever. Surely that one skull solo is not important. Great music for Shadow Temple. Master Quest. 
No, that's not fair. I was checking. Oh, since I already have keys, I can just... Oh no, dude. I don't have a song of time, so I can... Oh! I finally get to use something, actually. So, I don't have a song of time, and there's a song of time block in my way. I think this should... Okay, I think this should be a song of time block here. Yeah. So I don't have song of time, but that's okay. That should load the next room, which should unload the song of time block. No, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, what? No! Wait, where am I? Okay, yeah, that unloaded the song of time block. Oh no, I'm still trapped. Uh... My I ask for that? Okay. I was worried for a sec there, because I think my only good way out would have been death warping. Oh yeah, I guess I could save warp. I don't know why I was thinking I couldn't save warp. I was thinking, like, for some reason, save warping would put me at, like, Temple of Time or something. I don't know why I was thinking that. Burrow's Wind would be really nice right now. Water boss key, that's good. I already had Water Temple basically beaten, so I just need to go back and beat it. Nice. Yeah, I've never actually done a rando that ended up being impossible. Well, there was one exception. The only rando I've actually done that ended up being impossible was a multi-world rando. And the reason it was impossible is actually because when it was being made, it, it bugged out and like didn't actually do the logic properly. So it, it was only impossible because somehow the logic bugged out. Because we were using logic, I'm pretty sure. And it's just something went wrong when creating a seed. But I've never actually had a fully impossible to beat seed. There was one time I did a rando off stream. I was just like doing a test rando off stream. And uh, I was pretty sure that it was impossible to beat until I, I literally had to look through the spoiler log and like piece together this really complicated route to make it beatable. I didn't in I in originally intend to beat it, I was just like testing something, but then I ended up being it out of curiosity. Dude, that, that seed literally had to be- you had to look at the spoiler log to beat that seed. There was no chance that anyone beats that seed without looking at the spoiler log. Uh, I don't actually want to say what made it hard, because I actually have wanted to- I still have that seed, like, saved, and I kind of want to release it and, like, have people try it out. But I don't really know, like, the right, I don't know, opportunity to, like, say, hey, everyone go do this. So I don't want to say why it was hard. Oh wait, I need... I actually shouldn't have done that. I need that... Well, I can just check what the skull is, I guess. Oh yeah! Jibby. Forgot. I forgot I don't have lullaby. Guess I go do Fire Temple. Boatless is a, is a thing, but I want to not do bossy skips in this. So, I don't know. Worst case scenario, like, if I can't find Zelda's lullaby or like find out lullaby is impossible or something like that. 